Hello, today we are drawing Eras tour outfits. I went to the Nashville May 6 concert and Phoebe Bridgers was the opener. Maddie Healy was playing the guitar. It's super confusing, but we all just had like a really good time and I really enjoyed the artistry of like the set, like, the fashion and the creativity that fans put into their Eras outfits. So in this video, I'll be drawing some of them, some of them being friends, some of them fellow creators. But yeah, we're gonna have a ton of fun with it. I got this amazing lavender latte from the Frothy Monk. Today I tried to recreate it at a fellow coffee shop but it's still really good i recommend it an oat milk latte with lavender syrup and honey so it's really good i totally recommend it by the way i had an eye doctor's appointment before filming this video and i didn't realize how dilated my eyes were i also got contacts yay but i just wanted to mention that so the first outfit is my friend Alyssa. She's she's one of the biggest Swifties I know and I also went to school with her and she's also an amazing artist and an amazing painter and I really wanted to draw her lover outfit which was very cowboy colorful so I knew I had to draw it. You guys already know my work. I love cowboys so I had to do the cowboy look. She had like this rhinestone cowboy hat. I'm like, oh, that was so good. I definitely want to draw my own cowboy character Strawberry Saw in that. I feel like it's such a good, such a good accessory to an outfit and I feel like it's a really creative aspect of her um, Eras tour outfit. I had a lot of fun with this one, um, just super colorful, super vibrant, and kind of tying in the cowboy aspect with Lover through like the lasso rope, and also including the dice. Getting back to Cruel Summer because I saw a lot of outfits at the concert that were that had that lyric, devils roll the dice, angels roll their eyes. So I really want to include that in this piece since that's such a big part of the Lover album and Lover era. Yeah, it was just super fun and super colorful to work on and I really love how it all came together but also with um, these different outfits I asked my friends um, their thoughts and their memories surrounding Taylor Swift so I asked Alyssa what Taylor Swift's music means to her and like and special memories associated with her so here's that. I think the biggest reason I care about and connect with Taylor Swift music is how honest it is. She talks about relationships and failed crushes and heartbreak, and it really opens my eyes to what my art could be. I really struggle with how to talk with my feelings and my body of work as an artist, and sometimes I feel like I'm too dramatic or the imagery isn't quite right. I feel this shame of wanting to talk about romance or love or the way it fails, but when I look at Taylor's body of work, there's no shame or embarrassment when she talks about how she feels. She talks about the intensity of her emotions genuinely, and that's really inspired and resonated with me. Her work has made me a better artist in a lot of ways. And then this is a memory that Alyssa had with Taylor Swift. Well, I think one memory that sticks out is when I was a kid. My mom held up a CD from the front seat and said I have a new CD for us to listen to and it was Taylor's debut album. My mom and I have been listening to her forever so it's become a part of our relationship and how we connect. My mom would read about Taylor and say, did you see? And then we talk about it. My cousin and my aunt are big into Taylor Swift too. We all went together to the Eras tour and I know those will be the memories I cherish for the rest of my life. Thank you so much, Alyssa, for like sending in your message and your um, story and letting me draw your Eras outfit. There was actually a time when the both of us were working in the studio at UCF, the painting studio, and I recall listening to her give a presentation about Taylor Swift and her whole like history and discography. And it was really cool to hear that and hear it analyzed by someone who was so passionate about her music. And I definitely wish I could have that as like a podcast or like a video essay. That'd be so cool. But yeah, I definitely recommend go checking out her artwork amazing artist and amazing painter. This piece also really helped me get a lot of practice with digital art and really start to feel comfortable with Clip Studio Paint. So I felt like it was kind of like a, a benchmark or like a milestone in learning some new um, digital techniques and practicing my skills. Speaking of skills, I'd like to introduce this video's sponsor, Skillshare. There have been so many skills I want to learn and improve on to provide better content for my audience, aka you guys, and Skillshare has so many classes to explore and take control of building a creative career and reaching my goals with art and content creation. I plan to make creativity my full-time career with Sonia Razula's Start Your Creative Career, Build a Sharp, Smart Online Presence class. An expert in her field, Sonia's foundational knowledge is helping me make what I love doing into a successful creative career. In this class, I'm learning how to read analytics, create consistency across my brand, develop a website and use social media to my best advantage, making me confident in my ability to make my dream career a reality. As I build my presence online as a creator, I also want to make sure I keep my drama
drawing and painting skills sharp. I am an artist after all. And feed my creative brain through taking classes like character illustration, drawing faces and figures, and clothing by illustrator and comic artist Gabriel Piccolo. I know a lot of you guys are always looking to improve your art and creative skills, and Skillshare is a great resource in helping you along your journey. In fact, the first 1,000 people to use the link below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Happy learning, and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The next outfit is the folklore outfit from another friend, uh, Matthew. He He's also one of the biggest Swifties I know. Um, we had a class together in uh, last fall, I believe my last semester in school, and I was like getting his opinion on the new album because I had just got into Taylor Swift music and I really wanted to hear his opinion from a seasoned veteran. So I really love how his piece turned out. I had a ton of fun with the lighting. I knew for a folklore album inspired outfit and piece, it'd be very elegant more subtle um not as like i don't want to say flashy because like i'm not saying like the other albums are like flashy but like a lot more uh, like relaxed and a lot more introspective i feel like that's a good word but yeah matthew is also a painter and a small business owner so if you're interested in checking out his stuff i'll have it linked down below but yeah i really loved how elegant his outfit was his like he had like this um like laurel wreath head piece thing and that was like my favorite part to draw it was just like so like delicate and beautiful and i really love those hints of gold accents because he also had like an earring and then some snake rings on his hands and i was just like this is so good i have to draw this i also asked matthew how taylor swift has impacted his life and he wrote a really beautiful message and i want to share it with you guys quote taylor swift's music has been a huge part of my life within the past year some of my favorite memories have come from going to multiple listening parties and attending all three nights of her concert one night being the parking lot of the stadium honestly her concerts in tampa were easily some of the best nights of my life some of the most fun i've ever had as for her music her album's full Folklore and Evermore have helped me through intense emotional stages and have allowed me to feel seen and understood. And the rest of her discography is so widespread and versatile that there's something for everything. She's provided me with nothing but happiness over the past year and I'm so grateful for it. Thank you so much, Matthew, for sharing that and thank you for letting me draw your outfit. I had a lot of fun with it and it really helped me to stretch my digital art skills, push myself to make something really beautiful and subtle. The third outfit I decided to do was actually a YouTuber that I like to watch. Her name is Sierra Schultze and I've been watching her for a couple years now and I one of her biggest things I remember about her is that she's a Taylor Swift fan and I was so excited to see her when the Eras tour began so I really wanted to draw her outfit as well. Sierra Schultze is a content creator here on YouTube. Her content mainly focuses on lifestyle, fashion, clothing reviews, and body positivity. I started watching Sierra's channel and vlog channel around the time I was starting high school and I always found her content to be incredibly uplifting and inspiring. Her bubbly personality and authenticity kept me watching and it's been cool watching her content evolve as her life evolves with um, being a mother. When I first thought of drawing Era's outfits, I knew I needed to draw Sierra. Also, I'm a sucker for the Lover album aesthetic. If you couldn't tell already how crazy I went with Alyssa, so I knew I had to do Sierra's. I think her piece like turned out like, okay, all the pieces are my favorite. Like I enjoy doing all of them, but her piece turned out super cute and super fun. And it really hinted at something I really want to explore more in my artwork, just having a ton of fun, making it pop, making it be pink and colorful. And I had a lot of fun like painting her dress. It was really, I feel like I really nailed like the fabric and the, the fold, as well as getting that like sparkly shine on it. That was, uh, I think that was really successful. So yeah. The next outfit that I ended up drawing was Carrie Dayton's outfit. Carrie Dayton is a YouTube creator whose content surrounds fashion, try on hauls, thrifting, lifestyle, and also promotes body positivity. I love the wisdom that she shares from her own life, specifically about body image and overall her approachable laid back vibe. She kind of feels like the older sister I never had and I take a lot of clothing inspiration from her and often implement them into my own artwork and character designs because I have zero fashion sense. And I think I started watching her around the same time as Sierra because they have very similar content and they're both Taylor Swift fans and I think they've done a couple collab videos about Taylor Swift and those were always super fun to watch. 
and I knew as soon as I saw her outfit, her midnight dress recreation, I was like, I have to draw this. It's so cute. It's so kind of like classical, I feel like almost. It's kind of a weird word to say, but I think just like that blue, that royal blue with those stars and then the, the fluffy sweater. It was just super, it just looked like a super fun look and I really wanted to draw it. So I really like how it turned out. Um, I had a lot of fun messing with like lighting and blending mode settings and Clip Studio Paint and, and Midnight's is one of my favorite albums so I definitely was like blasting it in my headphones when I was working on it. Okay, last and final outfit is actually my outfit. <laughs> I do have to preface, I looked a lot, this outfit looked a lot different um, while I was actually at the concert. I didn't think I wore any makeup and I had more comfy shoes and I was wearing a jacket over myself just in case I got cold. So yeah, I was a lot more comfy at the concert and I feel like it was a good call. I, w I had a really good time and didn't have to worry about any wardrobe malfunctions, but I'm a cheerleader inspired by one of the first Taylor Swift songs I remember like hearing and associating it with Taylor Swift. It's You Belong With Me and it's just like that lyric. She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. I was just like, yes, be a cheerleader. And I thought it'd be fun just to have a cheerleading outfit because it's cute, it's pink, and I can reuse it for when I see the Barbie movie. So thinking ahead, big brain. But yeah, but I feel like the piece that I ended up doing wasn't necessarily like catered towards the Fearless album. My piece doesn't necessarily have to like deal with like the actual like Fearless album. I wanted to make something more like all encompassing of how I experienced Taylor Swift or, and just how it ties back to my own artwork in general. So it's a lot more sketchy and doodly and fun, um, including the snake and the number 13, obviously, hints at Taylor. And I feel like including the lyrics, um, rooting for the anti-hero, it ties back to Midnight's. And I don't know, I just had a lot of fun with it. I used like a color pencil, pencil texture in this piece. And I felt like it really lent itself to like a fun, almost childish vibe. And then I added that legal pad, like, notebook paper. And I was just like, yes, this is perfect. Cause it just looks so kind of like school vibes that I feel like Fearless kind of gives off. But yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing it. Um, and I also really love the color scheme. I changed this white to a yellow and it was just like this strawberry banana fusion. I was just like, I want to eat these colors. They're so good. But on a more serious note, I think the main reason why I'm like doing this whole video and taking all this time to document all these outfits through my artwork is because it, Taylor Swift's music kind of defines like a new chapter or a new <laughs> era in my life. Sorry. I feel like since this song, You Belong With Me, was like the first song I thought of when I think of Taylor Swift. Growing up, this idea of like the other girl is always like so much girlier and put together and feminine. And, and growing up, I kind of had that like, I'm not like other girls mentality, not really being into makeup or dresses, more just liking weird or like more masculine things. I wouldn't say I was trying to be quirky, but it was more like I didn't really have a choice in liking weird things things and like having more of like a quirky personality and feeling like I could be like perceived as unique or different but I don't think it was necessarily by choice. I never had any like animosity towards like more like socially conventional girls I guess. I don't know it's kind of weird to describe things nowadays. What's femininity? What's masculinity? You know it's it's all like it's like it's like a gradient and it's like a mix of everything so but I I definitely felt like out of place growing up, especially in like specific gender roles or like gender norms. And it was like, I didn't necessarily want to stick out, but then again, like trying to be like those girls I was seeing or expressing myself like those girls was kind of like, I had no idea how to do that. I couldn't express myself like that. It just did not come very naturally. There's a lot to unpack there, but I don't want to get into that in this video, but generally just like kind of feeling like this disconnection or this inability to relate to that sort of femininity that I would see in culture. While I'm older and I'm a lot more comfortable in myself and a lot more confident, it's it's more realizing that femininity is expressed and it looks different in a lot of different people. It's also been a big learning curve of mine to accept how I uniquely express myself and be confident in that and not feel like I have to live up to a certain standard or a certain look. And I think enjoying Taylor Swift music was at like the same time of like realizing that and really allowing myself to enjoy more societally feminine things like kind of like allowing myself to like I don't know discover makeup and dressing more feminine discovering like oh I actually do like to do this because of positive role models kind of like Sierra and Carrie and just not being so afraid and not feeling like it feels so off limits to me.
Furthermore, I've seen some people make fun of fans for dressing up and placing so much value into the store and Taylor Swift music in general, just like this whole seeing it as embarrassing or like cringe for people to enjoy and express themselves and find community through music. That means a lot to them. Dress up for like a fun and exciting time at a concert. <laughs> Men. <coughs> I'm not saying it's men in general but i think not being afraid if people think it's cringe is also a big learning curve for me because like it should be like cringe is just such a weird word and a weird thing to describe stuff and it's so like prevalent in our culture to immediately label something as cringe and i feel like if you're enjoying something safely and it makes you happy and holds a lot of meaning to you then why not embrace it and if something somebody thinks that's cringe then they're an plain and simple. They're probably just jealous of your ability to enjoy something and be happy. So I feel like, uh, speaking to myself too, you shouldn't hold yourself back from something that makes you happy, especially with our limited time here on this planet. And don't give people the time of day if they can't accept what you're passionate about and what you're excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, sorry it got kind of deep and like passionate at the end. I really want to express how important this this time period that I'm we're living through and like the culture and like this prevalence and this renaissance of Taylor Swift's music and how so many people can relate to it and how it's impacted a lot. Lot of people's lives. This tour has been such a large part of popular culture and Taylor's music has been a staple of my Spotify for the past couple of months. So I really felt like I needed to get some art out inspired by her um, music and the fans that enjoy it. Thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring this video. A reminder that you can get one month free of Skillshare with my link in the description. You can follow me on Instagram and check out my shop for some stickers. I'm hoping to get some Taylor Swift inspired stickers in there soon. So make sure you follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a different style, but I really had a lot of fun with this one. I'll see you guys next week. And yeah, have a good weekend. Bye.